a deserted city. Lysychansk bears the scars of war. Burned houses, smoke still emanates from the ashes. And in the gardens, tombstones. On Sunday, Russian strikes killed a six-year-old boy and an older couple. The couple's neighbors are still in shock. We are simple civilians. We have no one here. We have no soldiers. Why are they here? And for some reason, they ask us this question. Why are you staying? But where are we supposed to go? This is our land. We grew up here. We live here. Russian forces continue to shell houses and residential areas in Lysychansk. Some houses are completely obliterated. Residents lack everything, from water to electricity. My family is gone. I miss them a lot. They are worried. There is no network connection. I can't tell them I'm alive and fine. Lysychansk is a strategic city on the road to the large regional city of Kramatorsk and has been under constant Russian shelling for months. Like neighboring Severodonetsk, Lysychansk is a major city in the Luhansk region, where Russian forces have been concentrating their efforts after pulling out of Kyiv last month. Every day bombings continue. On the roads we see the electric poles and cables that have fallen. It is difficult to drive. We only have one car, nowhere to go to change the wheels. Bombs detonate in the distance. Ukrainian artillery moved in to Lysychansk a few days ago in a bid to target the Russian army in Severodonetsk across the river.